This is an area where the feelings of the local community were expressed in such an honest way, whereby people just, whatever was in their minds, they just put them up. You know, I think it shouldn't be censored at all. Every day as you came, the, the messages got, got bigger and bigger and there was more writing and there was more photos that people were putting up. And it became an area of, of tranquility where people could, could rest for a bit. But um, there's still that overwhelming feeling of anger that runs through everybody, I think, because this is an event that should have never taken place, you know? Even though we work in the richest borough in the whole of the country, there's massive levels of inequality. The summer camp that we ran in 2017 was different to any other summer camp we had done because just a couple of months previously, three of our children and their two parents had passed away. Jakob, Firdus, Yahya, Noura and Hashi. There was one moment where we were playing a game a couple of weeks ago and these children were running around and screaming and having lots of fun and then one of the young girls, she just went down on her knees and she just started crying, you know, just crying hysterically, crying, crying, crying. The words were coming up, like, I couldn't even understand what she was saying, she was like hyperventilating. And then it was only later, once she had calmed down, I asked her what happened and she said that the screams that she heard of the children when they were playing the game, it reminded her of when she fled the tower and she could hear the screams of the people. They need the compassion, they need empathy, they need a lot of understanding, because I think that the wounds that have been caused through this fire is going to be long term. Well, there's been moments where I thought the trauma was even worse than what I thought it was, you know? And I think that's all good talking about healing and coming together and building bridges, but the reality is that our children are suffering things that no child should ever have to go through. Whilst we're trying to do positive activities and we're trying to put a smile on our children's faces, um, they haven't forgotten about the memories, about the horrific things that they experienced that night. And it says, Firdus, you don't deserve this. And for me, that just sums up how everybody that knew the young girl was feeling, because she's someone that could have achieved any, anything in her life. I feel like I want to stop now, but I don't want to at the same time. And Sean is really annoying! Firdus was 12 years old and sadly she passed away in the Grenfell fire and her last dream was to go to Disneyland. So from that we've launched the Hashim Family Legacy. It's all about making children's dreams come true. And the first dream that we fulfilled was taking 16 children, all of them affected by the Grenfell fire, to Disneyland. And this year we're taking another 16 children. <laughs> we will spread it out throughout loads of different children. We'll ask them, what's your dream? And then we'll fulfill it. And then that way, the legacy of the Hashim family will live on forever through their friends and through even people that didn't even know them, but it will have a, a positive impact that will roll on. The conversations I've had with people that live in the local community is that there's been no closure. You know, even though they've wanted to heal, there's been no healing. Why? Because the, the local council failed the community. We're working with families that are still living in hotels. They were promised after the fire, within three weeks, they're gonna be rehoused. A year later, and they're still living in hotels. In a way, I feel like we haven't really had the chance to reflect because it's like you're dealing with it every day, you know, and you see the videos and you see the names and you see the messages on the wall and then it all comes back and you're always thinking, you know, what could it be and they should be with us now. They should be celebrating these moments, but they're not.